Hello dudes, it's me Alanis10 here back with another Windcraft quest guide. Today we are taking a look at Realm of Light Part 4, Finding the Light. Come on man. It's a combat level minimum of 71. It's a long quest so do prepare for that. You might need some potions. Find Laurie in the light forest at those coordinates. We're going to start off by right clicking to track it. For this quest I'm going to be using one Sinfras scroll just to cut down the travel time. But I will be traveling the sort of back way uh, without using a scroll. We're starting at the l gate to the light forest. If you don't know how to get here, it's basically east of Boosie. Boosie is right over there. And Boosie, if you don't know where that is, uh, is east of Levagar. So basically, if you just follow this eastern road, but you go the opposite way, so you go west, you'll eventually get to Levagar. But basically, we're going to make our way into the light forest. And then once we're here, right off the bat, we're going to turn to the left here. We can see the quest tracker as well. And we are going to continue along this path up until the tree here with the orange uh, top. And then we'll see Lari speak awaken. Your guidance is needed. We shift click and then it spawns Lari over here. Ow, oh, Linus, so you're needed here too then. I'm trying to awaken the guardian of the forest to receive its guidance, but it refuses to budge even the voice of Orphean provides no reaction. I beg more of you, awaken. Us too, us too seek your wisdom. I present you Orphean's barest light, please respond. Ah, see, nothing, nothing's happening. I'm at a loss for what to do. Maybe you can uh, effect some change considering what you've done before. My pulse, it is time. I shall shine my light upon the roots of the guardian. You and she must learn now. And there we go. Now we walk up to the roots here and we click on them. And an inscription. That wasn't there before. That was completely instant. How did you even? But still, I knew I could be useful. Let me translate this for you. As a stranger to Gavel, you wouldn't know High Gavelian. It's a secret uncovered in the oldest of libraries in Sinfras. Of course, a place that elves aren't allowed, but humans are. Oh, Linus, you have to find this library on your own, it seems. So, this is what we're gonna use our Sinfras scroll for. If you don't have one, just basically walk onto the path here that goes right by these rocks. Continue it to the next intersection and then go to the east. You can see Sinfras right over there. Now I'm just going to take a scroll. Once you've gone into Sinfras, uh, you arrive at the western gate here by the eastern road. Or, you know, when you walk east, but it's west. Sort of the gate that faces the west. You enter here. And at the first intersection at this alchemy and potion merchant, we're going to go into the northwest block here. You can see the quest tracker showing that this is the church. We're going to enter the church library. So we entered the church. Once here, we can go up and click these texts. And then we can just if click through them. And basically, we need to get to the library. There are two ways to get in. You can shoot down a ladder but if you're not a ranged class you can click this lever and it will spawn this little cobble parkour of course i fail on the first jump we climb up to this sort of panel in the roof we walk over to this tower and we go up the stairs out the window across to this roof one big jump if you fail there's a ladder to get back up up this ladder and then up the next one, up on top of the roof, and then we walk across this. Okay, and then we drop down. Here we right click the church bell, it drops down, shift click the text, and then we can jump through the hole it's created and it teleports us. If you die in this part, just do what we just did and re-enter. Once we're here, we just run through this big hallway, dodge all the mobs to the best of your ability. 
up until this part where we'll get one of the hardest parkours in my opinion on Windcraft. You uh, right click it or it's hard as a first time experience. Basically it moves and then it deletes the blocks uh, after a while. It drops down, we're gonna have to keep that in mind. It pops up so you're gonna have to wait to the very last second there. There, there are three stages, but you only have to sort of redo the stage you're on. If you fall here, you have to start from the beginning. But if you're on the second stage and fall, you only have to redo the second stage. Now we've unlocked the second stage. We can click on this and continue. The first time I did this, is it was completely... Yeah, it did not go well. We're gonna wait for that one to pop and you have the last block so if it's lagging on your world switch worlds because this is very oh yeah see overshot but there we go you resets you on the second one so you don't have to uh, redo the entirety of the hardcore just stage you're on oh yeah this is the one part I'm so bad at parkour Okay, here we are. I remember this is gonna go up one. Yeah. Now it's gonna loop around, do the same thing here. Jump over to that. Close to completion. And there we are, third stage. A bit more spaced out you'll see what i'm talking about like this there we are and once you're at the top make sure you click this and you shift click through that so you don't have to redo the parkour because now it's open the gate and that, then you can click return down and it opens this door over here with the statue at the end of it so you're not walking through the wrong one so we walk through here this is a fighting part it's gonna lock us into the first section here there we are I think we need to kill six mobs whoops there we are once we killed six bombs, we unlock the second one. And now it's going to close and we have to kill this guy, the guardian. And we kill him and there we are. We can now enter. And now we read the guardian of the forest information. Then shift click through this. And then you get the spell. Make sure that you're, you get the spell and you get the quest book update so you don't have to redo the entirety of the library section after exiting and now we can exit and we're right outside of the church and we can return to Lari. and there's not really a need for a scroll on this part because the only place we could scroll to that's close by is the forgery but that's just two seconds from then so we're gonna make our way down the western road here Okay, we're gonna cross this bridge at the forgery. And then we just loop around it. There we are. Now we continue on the path here. And then over at this intersection, we cut down to the left here. And here we can see the stones that we saw earlier. And we just cut right through here. And the Guardian of the Forest and Lari is right here. 
Here we are, Lari. Doctor, you reject the light of Orphean, waken please. Ah, uh, Alinus, please tell me you were able to make some progress. The Guardian still refuses to wake. What is this, a spell scroll? The waking forest in Sinfras of all places. Where would it have been impossible for me to go? So I am Orphean's chosen, yet I would not have been able to do what was asked of me. No. That, no, I can't dwell on that. Let let me see the scroll. Hmm, it says the seeker must rest these words upon those of the guardian. I suppose that means you need to place it by the inscriptions. You had another task that you must finish. Come on, then do it. I'm just needed uh, here to be a translator for you thus far, it seems. We go over here. There we are. Takes the spell. Let me go ahead and read this too. It will be tedious, I fear. It says, Awakening the guardian of the forest requires more than just magic. The home of the elves will house the answers and revelations. That, this is finally my time. I still have a hand in this. Finally, I can do something more than just holding the stasis here. Listen, uh, uh, Akara, this is my time. I can finally help you more directly. I know the elders of Aldere. They, uh, they're sure to have the answers you truly have been helpful even though uh even through my own worries i must thank you but you can relax now i will be the one this time you can continue doing whatever else uh, it is you need to be doing i have seen you helping in various places concern yourself with those for now i can handle this pursue her my pulse she must take dire action alone her light shall illuminate nothing we must provide her direction so we entered the teleport, and here we are, we just pursue Lari here. What? Why did you follow me? I can handle this, I can finally be useful again, do you not trust me? Please just respect my wishes, if I need your help, I'll go find you, for now just leave, you don't need to worry about this. And then, boom. Now we need to sort of sneak into there, so we're gonna climb on the rocks on the side here. And we climb up these vines, and climb up to the top and drop, and sort of land on this part. Climb up here, and then we just stand here. Oh, sorry, shift clicked. I know, I know, I'm, I'm in disbelief. They've been contacted by Orphean himself, allowed into the taproot. They have the symbol of Orphean's blessing. They just walked up after a thousand years of my putting my entire life into trying to save this province and do everything I couldn't in the span of weeks at most. Do you understand how infuriating this is? Can you comprehend such a thing not having uh, been in my position yourself? No, I cannot understand, but I also cannot understand how you are not grateful for this aid. I know I should be. It's all I've been able to think about. I should be ecstatic. The light will be saved. It should be everything I've dreamed of. But it makes me feel like a, a complete failure, like everything I have done has been for naught. That I have been somehow doing everything wrong. I know I made mistakes, Dullahan would still be himself if I had taken faster action. But I can't have nothing, uh, I can't have done nothing, right? I can't accept that. This is my chance to prove that I can still be useful, that Orphan choosing me wasn't a fluke. Please, the inscription uh, said you would know where to go. Even after a millennium, there's so very much for us all to learn. Fine then. But promise me to accept the aid you've received. This opportunity cannot be wasted, Lari. I have to do at least one thing right. I can't just keep up holding this pattern. I'll do whatever is necessary. You must seek the canned abyss plant then. It rests within a cavern shaded by giant fern leaves. Thank you, I can finally go do what I was meant to do. I won't let anything stop me this time. And then she teleports away. Human, I can see you consider yourself lucky, lucky that she did not come talk to me. And so we drop down. And we talk to the elder. So you're Orpheus new chosen then. It's both surprising and not. Humans have an interesting reputation. Often said as being able to get anything done without limits. Be it completing impossible tasks or breaking moral tenets. In this instance, however, you've done both 
you've both to do orphan has commanded it has he not and so you must uh, and for what uh, for that I apologize I've seen Laurie's work and she's done this land a priceless service alone she's kept the decay from creeping south and thus the guardian remains with us however her own morals prevent the situation from progressing she cannot kill and the source must be exterminated for light to once again fill the land Orphean's circumstances are dire and so you must come to understand something he's above us in terms of morals such concepts do not apply to him as the embodiment of light himself he has no sense of morals merely survival and stasis what he asks of us many will balk at it is a matter where morals must be set aside and such a thing is one that Laurie cannot abide by for she has stubbornly clung to them for a thousand years to break them i will admit i believe there has to be some other way to solve these problems but the fact of the matter is that there's simply no time left she must use the extent of her powers and while she retains her pacifism that will not happen i must ask you to follow her as orphan would wish there is unfortunately no right to this there is simply necessity and there you must push her to the limits seek the cave of canned abyss in the northeast from here the entrance is shaded by giant fern leaves i only pray that this will be enough Whew, that was a lot of reading don't worry it's gonna be more after this but we're gonna jump down here into the water and then we're gonna walk down this path here that's right underneath the tower And then we continue along the path until this uh, intersection here. We cut to the right, and here is the cave, the giant fern leaves. And so, if you die in this cave, head back to the same coordinates and enter. Okay, so we continue through this cave here. Further on in the quest, I will probably skip some of the conversation because. I think there will be like 52 lines or something and uh, yeah that is a lot okay here we are we're basically gonna right click the sort of particles and we get this uh, jump and speed boost effect it does have a timer on it so I might not make it in time uh, no i did not okay but there we go try it again on to this mushroom and that one here we are and then we right click to get a new one that has more speed basically And there we are. Last jump. And we continue through here. And here we have to drop down. Oh, drop down gonna be water in the end I usually sort of I do go in between here and then sprint forward to get through that okay the mushroom was sort of supposed to teleport me but yeah we go through the drop here and then there's gonna be one more mushroom parkour so particles and then over this away and then particles, right click them again. Then sprint across, jump, sprint across, jump, and then one last jump. And here, make sure you grab the canned abyss. Get that, make sure you have it, and then exit. And then shift click through that, and we can drop down the hill here. You can just jump down or use a movement spell cancel the fall damage and we spawn right at the path outside of the tree guardian 
So let's return to Lari. I can't believe this. What am I doing wrong? What is it? There has to be some reason. What is it? There's not another inscription. It's just the same words. What does it mean by dire actions? I've done everything I can think of. Is this not dire enough? It is pouring over you and putting aside my role and pride to someone else not extreme enough? Oh, Linus, I have to know. What did Orphean tell you exactly? I can't stand of knowing any longer. Did he really replace me? I can't think of any other reason why everything for me has just stopped working. Did he please tell me? Wait, you, you have Cant Abyss on you? Where did you get that? There's no way you would have known that unless you eavesdropped on me. You followed me into the cave after I asked you not to. You after everything I said, after you heard all those private thoughts. You still decided it was a good idea to come after me. What are you planning to accomplish like this? Oh, what are you thinking? Oh, let's follow the funny elf girl and see her fail over and over again. Is that it? You heard me then. It's all out in the open. I can't succeed. You're here. You're doing everything I couldn't. I'm not a failure. I'm not. I won't be. I refuse to be. Don't get to watch me flower and fail. I don't care anymore. Stop stealing my life like this. And now we have to uh, battle Lari. Yep. She has a lot of spells, but basically... We have to get her to like 90,000 health, if I remember correctly. Dodge the uh, upcoming attacks. Or she has defense in the one thing I do. There we go. You have gone far enough. And that stops it. This is enough, Lari. I awaken and thus your task is complete. Olinus, you have done as Orphan asked. Wait, what did I? I just, I nearly... Ah, tell me. How is this enough? Tell me. I nearly killed them. I just broke and defiled everything I stood for. Tell me, how could this possibly be the answer? How could this be what needed to happen? Why would I be needed to to do something dark you're about to say? And uh, that I say you have not. Trying to murder them because they did not... Uh, uh, they did what I couldn't isn't dark. How could you possibly think that? What kind of guardian are you for missing this kind of violence? How is anything I just did all right? For a thousand years or more, of your own thoughts, I understand that you are conflicted. However, you are in that time made a grave error. You have grown to realize uh, you have grown to realize an incorrect assumption. Dark and light, they oppose, they clash, they create a cloying plox, but allow me to ask. Is the axe of evil for is the axe evil for chopping the tree? Is the wood evil for resisting the metal? Are the flames of evil for are the flames evil for burning the leaves? Is the water evil for dousing the fire? Is the victim evil for striking back against those who have struck them? And most importantly, are any of these things light or dark? What connection does a primordial force have with the moral leanings of mortals, even immortals? You can't possibly be saying that what I did was the right thing to do. I refuse to accept that. I would not ask you to, you must understand that Orphan has no moral bearings, he simply needs action. What you have done may not have been the right thing, but anyone's account, however, it was necessary. You have thrown off your bonds, in a sense. And I shouldn't, I don't know, shouldn't I feel less restrained, less afraid, more, more free? If I've done what was needed to happen, why do I feel like the scum of the earth? Why do I feel so terrible? I admit such a thing is a conundrum, I agree that it's a tragedy to kill in many instances. Yet, when such an action could save the lives of others, it becomes a conundrum with no answer, an impossible value to weigh. Despite the circumstances you've done the best you could, I cannot fault you for your, uh, for your thoughts and morals. And so, as you are uh, now proven, I am awoken. The gateway to the light sa shall reveal itself to you, Lari. You must prepare your journey to the uh, realm of light. I, I need time to process, uh, pro process this. Uh, do you need understand how difficult this is to hear, to bear? I do not blame you for it. By the time you have composed yourself, your ally will be ready. Understand that they are as necessary as you are. 
for now. Linus must learn what you have learned, the nature of the realms. They must uh, know what you know if they are to aid, uh, aid you. I must ask you to pay close attention. I shall present it simply, though the enormity of this cannot be understated. Okay, from this on, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shift click through this. Basically, what he's gonna say is that um, there's a physical plane, and then there's, you know, on here we have wind, uh, dern, and gavel, basically, and then we have this plane with. Uh, which is the plane of influence basically we have the realm of light and the realm of dark and when they crash uh, we get the realm of war and so they sort of influence each other as you can see realm of light is over gavel but then there was a parasite who infected the realm of light with darkness and yeah that affects gavel since it's sort of the plane of influence it affects gavel that used to be light so we need to go and save orphan basically from the uh, spreading of darkness you must ready yourself before this of course to venture to another realm is a lofty task i will bestow upon you the two things that will sure, surely aid you in this however first i shall provide you the way to the gateway of light once i have reached it i shall bestow upon you a personal blessing of mine in the hopes that your path will become clear. Enter the portal. I shall show you the gateway to light. And I shall wish you good luck. So enter the portal. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Jeez. Now that is... I'm just gonna... Flash class? Oh, whoops, camp's on. That is... That was horrible. Jeez. I am so sorry for that. Put this back up. Okay. We're now back up. Let's enter here. I have to re... Whoops. Not... Uh, there it is. So, we enter basically. And here, we finish the quest by discovering the gateway to the Light Realm. So, quest completed, Realm of Light Part 4, Finding the Light. 675,000 experience points, 1, clear sight spectacles, and access to the Light Portal over there. And the helmet is right over here. You can drop the Canned Abyss, or unless you want to keep it as a meme item. Y'all know what it's supposed to mean probably um but anyways that was it for this quest guide thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye